When Silver Spirit docked in Aqaba, Jordan, many of us joined a special Silver Sea Shore excursion to visit the ancient city of Petra. Once there, some walked, and some went by horse and carriage, down the half-mile gorge that led to the most spectacular of ruins in this settlement dating from 6 BC. That's actually called the treasury, and it is, in fact, a Nebetean tomb, a Nebetean tomb temple for one of the Nebetean kings. Was caught by the Nebetean That voice that you're hearing is our god Abdullah Amra, and he was as entertaining as he was informative. In fact, for the first few minutes that we were on the bus, he pretended not to speak English. Uh, sometimes I start actually speaking Arabic um, and assuming that they they speak Arabic and uh, they get shocked after like five minutes. I just uh, choose the right moment when I start speaking in English. Uh. At other times, Abdullah pretends to speak English not very well, but the joke is on us. And me no speak uh, English very well. Me make money, me have seven children, feed them, me uh, shoot my wife. Uh, uh, she bring children from everywhere. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah, you know. Abdullah's approach and his personality underscore the quality of Silver Sea Guides, and you'll get a lot from the experience. It's actually basically the outline of a man leading a camel in a camel caravan. You can see this is the man standing right here. You can see the feet. You can see the feet of the camel, the bell of the camel, the rear feet of the camel. There is another man leading another camel too. This was uncovered in 1998 accidentally uh, with like uh, someone that you call stupid guide or someone uh, is working uh, as a tour guide but this is the wrong job that he's doing because he's not qualified enough to be the tour guide. Um, I usually start with like breathing into the microphone showing that I'm afraid of you and telling you that I am sweating like this and acting. I, I can do this really properly. So uh, This is called the Sikh. The Sikh, it is an Arabic word. It stands for narrow path. Have you heard of the word Sukh? Yes, yes. certainly. Souk, the word Sukh, literally, it's a narrow path between shops. Okay. Sikh, it is a narrow path between walls, rocks, mountains, like this. This is the way it is uh, breaking the, the ice, you know, like you, you walk down through the aisle, through the bus, and talk to people, everyone's smiling and they're just, uh, you know, showing you that they are very uh, happy to have a tour guide like this, and I'm very proud that I can do things like this, in fact, uh, it is like, you know, not only uh, giving them information, it's actually also entertaining them. And Hey everyone, sorry. If you look at the bottom right there, you can see little grooves. Yep. Can you see them? Yep. Uh, first of all, they carve actually using chisels made out of metal, these little grooves, which is like 10 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters deep, and it is actually squared, right? So they place inside them. Abdullah is representative of what you'll find on all Silver Seashore excursions. Quality guides who are well informed and eager to please. Uh, this is actually uh, after I exposed the joke, uh, the people start laughing, for example, if the whole group is laughing. So that means it is an easy day for me. If, if half of them laughed, I think it is um, quite um, maybe not very easy, but uh, it can be actually um, a difficult day. But it can be a very difficult day when some of them said, huh, you know. But 95% uh, um, getting the whole group, the whole bus actually laughing and it's, it's over. Like as if I spend with them like uh, the whole week, you know, if I get the chance to spend with you the um, like five or six days in fact uh, around Jordan, uh, I'd uh, make you cry as you're saying goodbye. This is Ralph Grizzle reporting from Silver Spirit. Dr. Akaba Jordan.